Um, obviously, antisocial behaviour can pretty much be anything. You know, it's any, any kind of behaviour that causes harassment, alarm, distress to a member of the public from somebody that doesn't live within their household or their premises. If it's antisocial behaviour, for example, littering, car parking problems, problems with your neighbours, low level things that hadn't quite reached the crime sort of threshold yet, then you can select a specific thing on the Met website which is report antisocial behaviour. That goes straight through to a certain team in the Met. They then triage that and then they will most likely create an antisocial behaviour report called an airspace. Those airspaces are then streamed out to the individual local teams which are picked up by officers like myself and my colleagues. The more detail we have, the more obviously in the know we are and we best we can come up with a solution to help them. PSPO is a public protection order which um, has been put in place because of the residents that live there have been suffering for 10 years. They all come together, come to the police and just said we've had enough of it. What can we do to help them? So we, we help them. The key principle and catalyst issue for everything else has been um, uh, noise disturbance in the form of extremely loud music, um, typically from late afternoon through to the early hours of the morning. The enormous quantities of litter here on Eaglebury Wharf the morning after the night before are, are, are testimony to what actually happens here. This BO encourages shared use of the space here in a positive way uh, and, and today um, people coming here um, are, are showing much more respect for the, the area they're in and, and, and the communities in the immediate vicinity. Um, the recent extension of the PSBO for a further three years um, means that uh, residents in the wider community can, can continue to enjoy the space. Anybody who comes here thinking they would be able to get away with what's been going on over the last decade uh, will now be in for a shock. Uh, the police are all over the, the situation uh, and, and are using a wide variety of tactics. When you have something like a PSB, which is a very powerful bit of legislation in place, this gives us astronomically better powers. You know, we had under the PSO specific conditions in order to seize alcohol, to seize loudspeakers, to issue fines through the council by recording data drawing their name and address. Residents and businesses have taken part in uh, public consultations in recent time. Um, the, uh, the council is working in conjunction with uh, Kingston First uh, to, to, to develop proposals or has developed proposals. Which should, um, among other good objectives, uh, design out a number of the factors which inadvertently have led to antisocial behaviour. Broadly speaking, we're moving in the right direction, we feel, and uh, there, are, there are a lot of good features in the new design which will certainly help reduce antisocial behaviour. 100% Kingston is a safe place. Kingston and Richmond are still considered the two safest boroughs in the whole of the metropolitan police area. So if you're in Kingston and Richmond, you're still living and commuting or coming to visit two of the safest spaces in the whole event.